Hello viewers, today we are going to conduct a set of biochemical tests. Those are very important for bacterial identification and confirmation. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. We fragmented the methodology into six steps. Media, reagent and pure culture preparation, biochemical tests, result observation and result interpretation. To conduct the experiment, we need a balance machine, incubator, biosafety cabinet, autoclave, burner, screw capped test tube, inoculating loop, needle, Simon citrate agar, urea agar base, MRVB medium, MIU medium, LIM medium, TSI agar, COVAX reagent, potassium hydroxide solution, creatine solution, methyl red solution and 1 naphthal solution. Prepare and sterilize all the media according to the manufacturer's instruction. Now we will prepare reagents. For indole test, we need COVAX reagent which is readily available in market. So no further preparation is needed. We can prepare methyl red solution by dissolving 1 gram methyl red indicator powder into 100 ml ethanol. 1 naphthal solution can be prepared by dissolving 1.2 grams of 1 naphthal powder into 20 ml ethanol. To prepare potassium hydroxide solution, dissolve 20 gram potassium hydroxide pellets into 50 ml distilled water. For the preparation of creatine solution, dissolve 0.5 gram creatine monohydrate into 100 ml distilled water. In this step, we will prepare pure culture of suspected bacterial colonies. Burn an inoculating loop to red hot and cool inside the biosafety cabinet. Now we will streak suspected colonies on TSA from XLD plate. You can see the black colonies on XLD plate are suspected as Salmonella species. Pick a black colony from XLD plate with an inoculating loop and streak on fresh TSA plate. Burn and cool the loop again. Streak on second, third and fourth quadrant of the plate to complete the streaking. Burn and cool the loop again. Now pick a black colony from BSA plate and streak on another fresh TSA plate. After streaking, incubate both inoculated plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the plates after incubation. We got pure culture of suspected salmonella species. Now we need to confirm it by different biochemical tests. Our first biochemical test is for methyl red reaction. Burn and cool the inoculating loop and pick a single colony from pure culture of suspected bacteria. Now inoculate MRVP medium with the bacteria for methyl red test. Similarly, inoculate another MRVP medium with the bacteria for VP test. For TSI test, pick a colony with the aid of sterile inoculating needle. Now stab into the butt with the needle and after that streak on the slant of TSI agar medium.
similarly pick a colony with the needle stop into the bud finally streak on the slant of simon citrate agar medium For motility, indole and urea test, pick a colony with the sterile needle. Now stop into the MIU medium carefully without disturbing the surrounding media around the stub line. You can see a clear stub line which did not disturb surrounding part. In the same way, stop and inoculate a LIM medium. Similarly, stop and inoculate a urea agar. Inoculation of biochemical tests is done. Now loose the cap and incubate the inoculated tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the tubes after incubation for result observation. At first, we will observe TSI test result. You can see black color is formed due to hydrogen sulfide formation and slant turned into red because of dextrose fermentation. You can also see the medium is lifted up from the bottom due to the gas production. This is the comparison with the negative control. In the lysine decarboxylation test, the medium is turned into slightly purple in color. That's why the bacteria showed positive reaction for this test. Take a look at the comparison with the negative control. You can see the Simone citrate agar is turned into blue from green. So the bacteria is citrate positive. This is the comparison with the negative control. Let's observe the MIU medium. Media color is not turned into pink, so the bacteria is urea negative. Growth pattern shows the bacterial growth is straight out throughout the medium outside of the stub line. That's why the bacteria is motile. Now add few drops of COVAX reagent. Normally, red cherry ring indicates the positive reaction but here no cherry ring is found. So, we can say the bacteria is indole negative. This is the comparison with the negative control. No pink color is formed in the urea agar. So, we can say that the bacteria can't utilize urea. 
This is the comparison with the negative control. Now add few drops of methyl red solution into the EMA tube. Red color development indicates that the bacteria is positive for methyl red reaction. This is the comparison with the negative control. Add 3 drops of creatine solution. Then add 2 drops of 1 naphthol. And finally add 3 drops of potassium hydroxide solution. No pink or red color in 15 minutes indicates the bacteria is negative for VP reaction. This is the comparison with the negative control. Now it's turn to interpret the biochemical test results. First row shows different biochemical test name and the left column shows the bacteria name. Now we will put our test result in the third row. Our tested bacteria formed red TSI slant. They were positive in hydrogen sulfide and gas production, positive for motility test, negative for indole urea, positive for lysine decarboxylation, citrate utilization, methyl red reaction, and negative for VP reaction. We can see that all of the test results of our tested bacteria are matched with the reference test results of typical Salmonella species. So we can confirm that the suspected bacteria is Salmonella species.